गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट स्टूडेंट नाउ टूडे विल बी लर्न लेसन नंबर Kinds 
Mysore, Kaila, Kaila, India. Fifth second is a Dai Dinka Jopra. Dai Dinka Jopra student. It is the first mosque of India constructed by the Qutub Din Ebag in Azad, Azmir. It's near Azmir Bay. ये एक मॉस्क्यू है एक मस्जिद है जिसका नाम रखा था ढाई दिन का झोपड़ा कंस्ट्रक्टेड बाय द कुतुबुद्दीन ने इसको भी कुतुबुद्दीन ने बनाया नहीं बनवाया था जो कि एबुकिन अजमेर ओके आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ द चोला डायनेस्टी एंड नाउ थर्ड इज अ आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ द चोला डायनेस्टी सो अमंग द रूलिंग डायनेस्टी ऑफ द साउथ इंडिया अमंग द रूलिंग डायनेस्टीज ऑफ साउथ इंडिया चोलास इन पर्टिकुलर वर ग्रेट पेट्रोस ग्रेट पेट्रोस ऑफ आर्ट एंड आर्किटेक्चर सो स्टूडेंट चोला डायनेस्टी इज अ लव फॉर आर्ट एंड आर्किटेक्चर कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड आर्ट्स ओके म्यूजिक दे बिल्ड मिनी टेंपल एंड तंजौर दे सो स्टूडेंट जो चोला डायनेस्टी था इन्होंने बहुत सारे टेंपल्स को बनवाया था किसको बनवाया था टेंपल्स को बनवाया था लाइक दिस तंजौर महाबलीपुरम मीन्स मल्लपुरम एंड कांची दे प्रोमोटेड द द्रविडियन स्टाइल ऑफ आर्किटेक्चर विथ एज विथ एज मल्टी स्टोरियर प्रमेड इट इज मल्टी स्टोरियर प्रमेड लाइक टावर फॉर द विमान जो उसका टावर है उसको क्या बोलते थे विमान विमान विथ लॉफ्टी गोपुरम्स एंड द इंटरियर एंड द पिलर असेंबली हॉल्स कॉल्ड मंदापर्स जो वहाँ के असेंबली हॉल्स हुआ करते थे ठीक है जहाँ पे वो मीटिंग मीटिंग करते थे ठीक है और जो भी उनके टेम्पल्स थे तो वहाँ पर उसने क्या नाम रखा था उस असेंबली हॉल का कि मंडापर्स एंड द मेन डेट डाइट वॉज के बीन द सेंचुरम गरबा गिरा तो यहाँ पे देखो डायट चोपड़ा है ये एक मॉस्क्यू ने बनाया था इसने मस्जिद बनाया था ठीक है मॉस्क्यू जहाँ पे इसका नाम रखा था डायटिंग का झोपड़ा ओके एंड आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ द चोला डायनेस्टी जिसको आर्किटेक्ट जो चोला डायनेस्टी का आर्किटेक्चर थे उन्होंने बहुत सारे टेम्पल्स को बनवाया था ओके गुरु देशवर टेम्पल नाउ इन फोर्थ इज अर गुआ देशवर टेम्पल सो गुआ देशवर टेम्पल और द राजेश्वर टेम्पल कॉल द बिग टेम्पल गुआ देशवर टेम्पल कॉल द राजेश राजा राजेश्वर राजा राजेश्वर टेम्पल कॉल द बिग टेम्पल इज डेडिकेटेड टू लॉर्ड शिवा तो ये जो था राजा राजेश्वर जो था वो लॉर्ड शिवा का टेम्पल था ओके इट वॉज बिल्ड बाय द ग्रेट चोला किंग ग्रेट बिल्ड बाई द ग्रेट चोला किंग फर्स्ट जिसको कि चोला किंग फर्स्ट ने बनवाया था इन तंजौर कहाँ पे तंजौर में ब्यूटीफुल चोला फ्रेस्को पेंटिंग्स आई बोल द इन दॉल्स ऑफ द टेम्पल इन्होंने जो चोला डायनेस्टी थे इन्होंने बहुत सुंदर खूबसूरत पेंटिंग्स किया और यहाँ पे करवाया था टेम्पल के पास और वॉल्स को सुंदर सा इन्होंने करवाया था वन ऑफ द आउटस्टैंडिंग टेम्पल इन द साउथ इंडिया वन ऑफ द ये जो टेम्पल है ये एक आउटस्टैंडिंग टेम्पल है साउथ इंडिया का द महादेश्वर टेम्पल इज द चोला डायनेस्टी फाइनेंस कंट्रीब्यूशन टू ड्राइविंग टेम्पल आर्किटेक्चर What made the constructed so unique is the various from the unique is the various from the uh, what made the constructed too unique is the various from the usual temple is the usual temple student building style of having a tall gopura and a smaller vimana. So ये जो temple है यहाँ पे बहुत से दूर दूर से students भी आते हैं, foreigners भी आते हैं, foreign guests भी आते हैं जो कि यहाँ पे आके यहाँ पे tourists को वो देखते हैं यहाँ पे इनके लोगों को देख के उत्सुक होते हैं हमारे जो इंडिया में बहुत सारी ऐसी ऐसी चीज़ें हैं जिसको कि स्ट्रक्चर करके बनाए थे हमारे किंग्स ने हमारे इम्पर ने ओके सो नाउ डेट सी सम वीडियोस एंड सम टेम्पल स्टूडेंट ओके आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ द मुगल पीरियड अ न्यू ट्रेडिशन ऑफ आर्किटेक्चर स्टार्टेड ड्यूरिंग द मुगल एरा A new tradition of architecture started during the Mughal era. The, the monuments were constructed on high plains. Marble was mostly used and constructed material and flowing water in the form of fountains were extensively used beside marble. Colored, precious and semi-precious stones were used to decorate the building. 
सो नाउ स्टूडेंट देयर इज अ आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ द मुगल पीरियड इन दिस मुगल पीरियड मेनी एम्पर यूज अ मार्बल वाइट मार्बल्स एंड हाई प्लेन्स फ्लोविंग वाटर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ फाउंटेन वॉर एक्सटेंडली यूज ओके सो मेटेरियल्स एंड एंड अ फ्लोविंग वाटर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ फाउंटेन वॉर एक्सटेंडली यूज बिसाइड मार्बल कलर्ड ओके मार्बल कलर स्टोन्स वर यूज टू डेकोरेट द बिल्डिंग तो स्टूडेंट दिस टाइम न इम्पर यूज द मार्बल कलर फॉर डेकोरेट आवर बिल्डिंग एंड आवर आवर पैलेसेस नाउ फर्स्ट इज अ फतेहपुर सिकरी फतेहपुर सिकरी आफ्टर इज मिलिट मिलिट्री विक्टोरीज वोवर चित्तौर एंड रंथाम्बोर अकबर डिसाइडेड टू शिफ्ट हिज कैपिटल फ्रॉम आगरा टू अ न्यू लोकेशन After his military victory over Chittor and Ranthambore, Akbar decided to the shift his capital from Agra to a new location on the Sikri Rise. Right to honor the Sufi and Salim Chisti, he here he com commenced the construction of a planned walled city and constructed a series of royal places, courts, and mosques. private quarters and other antiquely buildings he named the city fatehpur with fateh meaning victories it was later called fatehpur sikri fatehpur sikri is one of the best preserved collection of mughal architecture in india okay so now buland darwaza second is a buland darwaza students see this is a buland darwaza it is very high door buland darwaza or the lofty gateway was built by the great mughal emperor akbar at fatehpur sikri akbar built the buland darwaza as a victory arch to come to commemorate his successor successful gujarat gujarat campaign the buland darwaza was set into the south wall of congregational mosque the jama masjid at fatehpur sikri the darwaza rises to a height of 55 meter and is topped by pillar and chatris chatris it is one of the most famous islamic structure in fatehpur sikri and it, and it goes the early mughal design with simple ornamentation the covered verses from the quran and soaring arches panch mahal is another not, uh, notable five storied building in fatehpur sikri with cancer with excellent architecture design the covered verses from the quran and soaring arches panch mahal is another notable five storied building in fatehpur sikri with excellent architectural architectural design now there is a red fort red fort was built as the fort of fortified family place places of palaces of shah jahan bad capital of the mughal empire shah jahan red fort is considered to represent the zenith of mughal creativity under shah jahan and consists of other import, important structures such as the diwane aam diwane khas मोती मस्जिद हायत बैक्स बाग एंड द रंग महल इट इज अटेड बाई एंड सेक्टेड बाई शाहजहां now dear student taj mahal you know very well about the taj mahal the taj mahal is a white marble mausoleum museum located in agra uttar pradesh india it was built by mughal emperor shahjahan in memory in memory of his third wife mumtaz mahal the mahal is regarded as the finest example of mughal architecture and is considered as one of the seven wonders of the world okay the taj mahal is widely recognized as the jewel of muslim art in india and one of the universally admired master pieces master pieces of the world heritage the world's heritage now masons snow cutter in layer covers painters calligraphers dome builders dome builders and other artisans were requested requisitioned from the whole of the empire to work on this 
structure the white marble has been polished the emphasis the excuses detailing or uh, the covering the arch archways have been inlaid with semi precious stones architecture was an exam impeble of power numerous out stuck outside invaded india and created architectural style reflective of their in ancestral and adopted home as a result many artists got an opportunity to showcase their talent and skill hence not only was their need for name and fame met but they also earned a handsome lively livelihood the people to whatever the era benefited through such splendor structures thus we should be grateful to ruler and emperor who in the quest for questioning the third towards creative excellence motivated and inspired and the subject generated a source of income and benefited the society indirectly so now is their student thing today there are road to reach badrinath kedarnath gangotri jamunotri etc how did the people of old time go to such place, such places so now is just log jo hai road road ke dwara yahan pe ja rahe hain char dham yatra pe so now student how did the people of old time go to such places so just think about and such now exercise they are If, uh, give information about the places given below somna dwarka and rudra mahalaya and cg sayed jail fatehpur sikri red fort and taj mahal so children fill up this lines okay thank you the delhi sultanate the earliest rulers of the delhi sultanate were the mamluks in 1206 muhammad gori died and qutbuddin aybek declared himself the sultan of delhi the period between 1206 ad and 1526 ad in indian history is known as delhi sultanate during this period of over 300 years five dynasties ruled over delhi the slave dynasty Qutbuddin Aybek laid the foundation for the slave dynasty. He ruled for 4 years. The construction of Qutb Minar was started by Qutbuddin but was completed by his son Iltamush. An able and powerful administrator, Iltamush established a vast kingdom by 1220 AD. Iltamush became the sultan after defeating Aram Shah, a son of Aybek. Iltamush's sons were not capable of handling the kingdom so he had announced that after his death his daughter Razia Sultana would be the ruler Razia ruled from 1236 to 1240 AD being a wise and capable ruler she brought many reforms in the state being a woman she had to face many difficulties the officers under her resented taking orders from her dressed as a man she led her army in the battlefields this created displeasure in the male dominated society some of her nobles plotted against her and she was killed in 1240 ad this created utter confusion and chaos in 1248 ad nasiruddin the youngest son of iltamush was crowned as king a devout muslim and a peace loving man he was a failure as a king Administration was carried on by his general Balban. Balban was a strong-willed, powerful personality and a member of Chalisa or the Forty, a group of Turkish nobles selected and trained by Iltamush for his self-defense. After the death of Nasiruddin in AD 1266, Balban became the Sultan of Delhi. A strict disciplinarian, he recommended simple living. Balban died in 1287. His grandson was the last ruler of slave dynasty. He was murdered in 1290 and the throne went to Khilji dynasty. The Khilji dynasty 1290 to 1320 AD. Among Khilji kings, the most ambitious was Alauddin Khilji. He had bigger dreams than Balban. Like Alexander, he wanted to conquer the world. He ascended the throne by killing his uncle and father-in-law. 
apart from Gujarat and Malwa, he captured the famous Ranthambar and Chittor forts. He even sent a large army to the south under the command of Malik Kafur. Malik Kafur looted and collected very huge hauls of gold from different kingdoms. He attacked even Madurai. Thus, for a brief period, Alauddin Kilchi's domain was as large as that of King Ashoka. Being an able administrator, he brought about many reforms. He kept administration and religion separate. He introduced price control and market control. Thus, everybody were able to get food items at low prices. Bribery was punishable. Soldiers received money as salaries. Land revenue was according to the size of the land. Alauddin was a lover of art and music. He encouraged and respected artists. Amir Khusro was a member in his court. Musical instruments, sitar and tabla were invented by him. After him, there was an immense power struggle. In 1320 AD, the Tughlaq family took control of the Sultanate. The Tughlaq dynasty 1320 to 1399 AD. The Tughlaqs also wished to possess an empire embracing the whole of India. Giyasuddin Tughlaq was the first Tughlaq king. He was succeeded by Muhammad Tughlaq. He was an able administrator, but his plan to shift his capital from Delhi to Devagiri, which he renamed as Daulatabad, failed. His another plan of having copper and brass coins also failed. Ibu Batuta, an Arab traveler, visited the Sultanate and has written extensively about the kingdom. Muhammad Tughlaq lost the support of his nobles and the ulema. Revolts broke out in Bengal, Warangal, Gujarat, Sindh, Awad, Multan and Daulatabad. Firoz Shah Tughlaq succeeded Muhammad Tughlaq. He became very popular because he spent less on war and armies and more on building hospitals, educational institutions, bridges, canals, etc. for the welfare of the people. During his time, many Sanskrit works were translated to Arabic. Timur, a Mongol, invaded India. He had heard about the wealth of India. He marched to Delhi and defeated the Tughlaq rulers. Timur's deputy, Khizr Khan, settled in Delhi and declared himself as the Sultan of Delhi. He founded the Said dynasty which lasted for 37 years. This dynasty was usurped by the Lodhis and Afghan tribe. The Lodhi dynasty, 1451-1526 AD. Sikandar Lodhi ruled over the region of Ganga Valley as far as western Bengal. He shifted the capital from Delhi to a new town which later came to be known as Agra. The most important ruler of the Lodi dynasty was Ibrahim Lodi, son of Sikandar Lodi. However, his importance was not due to any welfare measures but due to his arrogance. He was a tyrant. His nobles and the people conspired with Babur, the king of Kabul, to overthrow and succeeded in 1526.